السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم مرة أخرى في شان يوتيوب الفيا أكاديمي القناة التعليمية المخاصة بتلاميذ الإعدادي والثانوي اليوم درسنا في اللغة الإنجليزية باش يكون موجه لتلاميذ التسعة أساسي الدرس الثاني في اللغة الإنجليزية sharing family responsibilities so first of all let's review the previous lesson some grammatical point في الدرس ال الأول كنتو شفتو <hesitation> uh, question words باش نعاودو نراجعوهم نشوفو شنو ما هما so wh question words اللي هما what when where how wish how old how many how much who به علاش هاذوما اسمهم wh question words على خاطر أغلبهم يبدأ بـ WH So let's start with what What does it mean? We use what to ask about object or idea بلغتنا أحنا شنو ماذا؟ Example What is your favorite hobby? When used to ask about time Example, when do you get up? So the answer here is supposed to be uh, an answer about time. For example, usually I wake up at 7 o'clock. Where now is used to ask about place. Example, where is the supermarket? How is used to ask about manner. What does it mean manner? كيفية القيام بالفعل. كيفاش الحاجة هذيك صارت. Example. How do you pronounce that word? بالعربية كيف. Wish is used to talk about choice. Example. Which subject do you like the most? عادة نستعملوها كي يبدأ عنا خيار من حاجتي. How old? To ask about age. Example. How old is your dad? How many? Used. To talk or ask about number. Example. How many members do you have in your family? How much to ask about quantity? How much time does it take from London to Tunisia? And finally, who is used to ask about persons? Example, who is that guy standing next to Elsa? So, this is mainly what you saw in the previous lesson, talking about grammar. So, let's move on to a second lesson, sharing family responsibilities. So, first of all, let's talk about family. Who are the family members? In this picture, we have parents, children, and grandparents. Of course, the family can be more extended. It can include... Uh, aunt or uncle maybe if they are not married they live together at the same house so this family each one of them has a specific responsibility so let's talk about chores here So, in this picture, we have some household chores, like swapping the floor, making the beds, taking out the garbage, ironing the clothes, uh, watering uh, the flowers, taking care of the animal or feeding the dog, if you have one, doing the laundry, washing the dishes, and more. So, 
في كل دار عندنا مجموعة من الوظائف اللي نجمو نتعاونو باش نقومو بها so now who does what each person has a responsibility so let's start with the parents both parents have equal responsibility in the upbringing of their children now what does it mean the mother can be the head of the family usually the father is the head of the family the one who works outside the house okay but today both parents work outside so both of them can be heads of the family so both of them are responsible for the upbringing of their children working and taking care of their children which means feeding them uh, buying clothes uh, medications to them okay now inside the house what can the father do now the father is generally the strongest person in the family so normally he does heavy duties like repairing uh, the car repairing broken machines inside the house he can also help the mother inside the kitchen okay so the father is the strongest person in the family now here bishtaqrawzida this is the strongest is the superlative form self of the so if you want to compare the father with the mother we say my father is stronger than my mother and that's why he does the heavy duty inside the house so the father is the strongest person in the family so he does the heavy duties like example uh, repairing we say repairing broken machines or items repairing the car the mother now the mother um, usually does most of the housework like cooking cleaning uh, washing the dishes okay the mother does most of the house work like again cleaning cooking and washing dishes well of course the mother does more than that but here we're just given some examples now what can the children do to help their family here in this picture we see this girl is watering the garden this guy here is making the bed this girl is swapping the floor and of course this little guy is also washing the dishes so the children can help the mother in the kitchen they can also clean their rooms maybe your children is just too little 
to help in the kitchen, but it's a must that he or she clean her or his room. Before going to school, everyone must make his or her bed. So, this is a rule, at least in my family, it is a rule. Before leaving for school, you must make your bed. Now, let's see the grandparents. Usually, the grandparents are old people. They can do much. They can do heavy duties inside the house. So, they usually just give a hand to help. So, the grandparents, well, maybe if the parents are not inside the house, the grandparents can take care of their grandchildren. Take care of their grandchildren. Uh, the grandfather can help his son inside the garage. Can water in the garden. Donc, the حاجات اللي بسيطة اللي نجم نقوم بها جد وجدة حاجات ما تطلبش برشا مجهود. So, but اللي معروف عنا الجد والجدة عادة ما يعمل حد شيء في الدار جوست يتلهاو بالصغار وإلا maybe read bedtime stories again for their grandchildren now here is a question it can be in a form of a paragraph why do we share the family responsibilities? What is your role in your family? So this is a paragraph. Bishnawan come for introduction. Okay, I will just give you some hints to help you, and of course you will find the correction على the platform تاعنا. نجم نشوفو ملخص ومع الأسلاح متاع writing. So, why do we share the responsibilities at home? Well, otherwise, if we don't help each other inside the house, most or all the housework is going to be done by the mother, which is not fair. So, your mother will always be tired, so someone needs to help her. So. We usually share family responsibilities to make our work easier, smoother inside the house and of course to live happier. So, we share the responsibilities First of all, because it is our duty. So, this is the first reason. It is your duty to make your bed, to clean your dish, okay? And to clean your mess. Second, to make our life inside the house more organized for example, your sister does the dishes, you clean the living room, your mother cooks meals, your father does the shopping. Keep the kul wihada andu responsibility, la mal pshikul nadam fidda. Okay? So, to make our life inside the house more organized and, of course, and happier. Wihad keep the الواجبات نتاعو منظمة كل حد يقوم بالوظيفة نتاعو بيان سور 
باش تقل المشاكل مانيش باش نتعاركو انا انا نظفت بيت السالة وغسلت معونا وعملت كل شيء but my brother didn't do anything so this is why we need to share uh, uh, household chores inside the house again باش تلقاو فقرة تحرير كامل للبراغراف هذيا على المنصة دونك تنجمو تزورونا على www.lvia-de-6academy.com اليوم درسنا <hesitation> family sharing family responsibility I think is done okay I hope it was clear enough and see you next time.